Television audiences that remember the hit 60s action series The Mod Squad will likely be familiar with the name Peggy Lipton. Peggy rose to fame portraying stylish crime fighter Julie Barnes on the classic counterculture police program, and she went on to lead an incredibly interesting life before her death from cancer in 2019. Join Facts First as we explore details you didn't know about Peggy Lipton. Peggy was born in New York on August 30, 1946. She was born with natural good looks and found herself at the beginning of a professional modeling career when she was only 15. She was soon in high demand on the New York modeling scene and began being offered roles on television. They started out small but increased in prominence until she was eventually cast in The Mod Squad. Peggy's TV debut came via an appearance on a sitcom called The John Forsyth Show, and she went on to make increasingly notable appearances in other programs. Some of the other programs she appeared on before taking her role on The Mod Squad include The Alfred Hitchcock Hour and Bewitched. She was cast in The Mod Squad when she was only 21. This series utilized Peggy's natural good looks and also turned her into a counterculture fashion icon. Peggy had been only acting for a little over a year when she was cast. Her natural good looks and charm had allowed her career in the entertainment industry to take off like wildfire. Although Peggy could have certainly made a living off of modeling alone, she decided she'd rather be a TV star. The Mod Squad proved to be the perfect vehicle to rocket her to fame. The Mod Squad revolved around the premise of three counterculture youths tasked with becoming undercover agents as an alternative to serving time in prison. The show featured a keen eye for fashion based predominantly around the British mod subculture of the time. In addition to its revolutionary fashion, it also tackled revolutionary themes that authentically played into the counterculture of the time. With the British invasion having recently reached full force by the time Mod Squad premiered, the mod subculture was at peak popularity. It had originated in London and was exemplified by popular British rock groups and celebrities of the time, including the Beatles. Mod was short for modern, and the Mod Squad was certainly the most modern police program of its era. There were three youths making up the Mod Squad, including Peggy's Julie Barnes. Michael Cole, Clarence Williams, and Taj Andrews made up the other stars featured on the program. The show became a huge success thanks to both its cast and sense of style. It lasted from 1968 to 73, a period in which Peggy became a huge star and fashion icon. In addition to her fame, she also earned a Golden Globe Award for her portrayal of Julie, as well as several Emmy Award nominations that, sadly, she never won. The same year The Mod Squad premiered, Peggy also released a self-titled pop album that was intended to launch her career as a singer. The album wasn't quite as successful as the record label hoped, so a follow-up record was never produced. Around this time, Peggy was also romantically linked with Paul McCartney. Given the mod theme of Peggy's hit show, her pairing up with one of the scene's biggest celebrities was likely no coincidence. But it was another musician that eventually won over her heart. This was Quincy Jones, a popular producer and studio musician best known for producing Michael Jackson's Off the Wall and Thriller. Peggy married Quincy in 1974, and the two went on to have two daughters together. Those daughters are Rashida and Kikata Jones. Rashida went on to follow in the footsteps of her mother and then some. In addition to becoming a hit TV actress thanks to her turns in shows like The Office and Parks and Recreation, she's also dabbled behind the scenes on features such as the most recent entry in the Toy Story franchise, Toy Story 4. After settling down with Quincy and having her two daughters, Peggy decided to take it easy as far as acting was concerned. Quincy made more than enough money with his record producing to pay the bills, allowing Peggy to have the chance to take time off of work to raise Rashida and Kikata. Although Peggy did return to television for 1979's The Return of the Mod Squad, she tried her best to stay out of the acting scene while her daughters were young. When Rashida and Kikata got older, Peggy and Quincy divorced. After that, Peggy returned to acting with some notable roles in various made-for-TV features and series. In one, she was even given the opportunity to play the on-screen mother of one of her real-life daughters, Rashida. Perhaps Peggy's most notable role, besides Julie Barnes, is the character of Norma Jennings from David Lynch's hit series Twin Peaks. Norma was one of the original characters on the series when it premiered in 1989, and Peggy went on to portray the character for all of the show's original three seasons. And she returned to play the character on the show's 2017 revival, Twin Peaks The Return. 
Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Peggy Lipton. Besides Paul McCartney and Quincy Jones, there was another musician Peggy was once romantically linked with. That was Elvis Presley, although the two were only together for a very short period of time. The relationship occurred in 1973, the year before Peggy married Quincy Jones. It was brief, but the relationship left a gigantic impression on Peggy that lasted until her death in 2019. Although the romantic connection between the two was never entirely there, Peggy considered Elvis to be one of the strangest and most interesting men she'd ever met. In the years after their relationship, she loved telling stories to anyone who would listen about her time with the legendary musician. Elvis had split up with his wife Priscilla in 1973. Like much of the rest of the world, he'd fallen in love with Peggy via her portrayal on the Mod Squad. Given that Elvis was in a position to actually meet up with Peggy, he eventually secured a date with her and started a relationship. This came later in Elvis's career when he was well into his karate practice and other strange obsessions. According to Peggy, the main two things Elvis spent his time doing during their brief relationship was practicing karate and eating. Peggy claimed the legendary musician was essentially impotent during their relationship, although that didn't mean she didn't enjoy spending time with him. Peggy claimed that she and Elvis had attempted sex multiple times, starting at the beginning of their relationship. Peggy expressed sex was pretty much the first thing Elvis had attempted to do, but he failed to perform after multiple attempts, and the problems continued throughout the rest of the relationship. There were many other things Peggy appreciated about Elvis, including his strength, heart, and soul. According to Peggy, Elvis was a beautiful person inside and out, though incredibly complicated. She also expressed that being with him was more like being with an overgrown child, though this innocent quality made the legendary figure more endearing. They soon split and Peggy married Quincy Jones. Elvis moved on from the relationship taking up with Ginger Alden. He maintained his relationship with Ginger until his death a few years later. He died in 1977 at his home, Graceland. Peggy went on to write about the relationship in great detail in her 2005 autobiography. Just a short time after reprising the role of Norma Jennings in Twin Peaks The Return, Peggy passed away from cancer. This was in 2019, when she was 72. Although Peggy and Quincy had divorced, Rashida and Kikata always maintained a close relationship with both their parents. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share what your favorite role of Peggy's is, besides her iconic turn as Julie. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.